How's it going everyone? It's Avi from Weather Sponge 5000 and in this video we're gonna forecast the amount of days you should have snow cover on the ground this winter and um, the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the average snowfall anomaly during years where we have an El Nino since an El Nino pattern is fo is forecasted to be between moderate to strong this winter and as you can clearly see we see a lot more snowfall than usual right um, just to the east of the Rocky Mountain ranges. I've showed you guys this map in my prior winter season videos and we clearly see uh, much more snowfall than normal in the southern areas of the United States and this includes portions of the northeast as well while the northern portions see less snowfall than normal and that'll of course play a big role in terms of how many days you should see snow cover on the ground in the areas such as um, further northward into the United States like the northern Midwest and the Pacific Northwest you still should have majority of the winter where you do have snow cover on the ground even if it's an El Nino since you guys regardless of whether there's less snowfall than average or more snowfall than normal you should still see um, plenty of snowfall this winter and a lot of and of course that will lead to a lot of days where you're gonna see snow cover on the ground but snowfall isn't the only thing we're gonna need to pay close attention to also temperature plays a big role in terms of how many days you're gonna see snow cover on the ground because if it's a little bit too warm then of course there um you're more likely to see the snow cover melt a lot quickly which means that there's gonna be a lot less days where you actually see snow cover on the ground so we're going to take a look at um um the uh, the factors i'll uh, manipulate the temperature in the united states because i'll play another big role in determining how many days of snow cover you should see throughout the entirety of the united states but based on this map you should expect more days of snow cover than what you're used to in the southern united states and a little bit less in the northern united states so one of the big patterns I've been talking to you guys about over my past um, few winter season videos is a PNA pattern or the Pacific North American Oscillation. And as you can clearly see, the index suggests that in the future, um, for the majority of December and going into January, well, you um, we are expected to be in a positive PNA pattern, which will play a big role in determining the conditions in each area of the United States. Since we're going to be in a positive phase, this is what the United States should expect when it comes to winter season conditions. We do see that during a positive phase, it's um, we the air pressure is lower right around the eastern half of the United States, which enhances the northerly flows um, thanks to this pressure gradient between this ridge and this low, which allows the Arctic air to move further southward. So it's simply a lot colder than normal in the eastern half of the United States, which makes me believe that you are going to see a lot more days where you're going to see snow cover on the surface without melting. And not only that, since there's going to be more snowstorms, the um, the exact depth of snowfall will be a lot higher. So it's going to be a lot more difficult for warmer temperatures to get rid of the snowfall on the surface. So I do expect a lot more days of snow cover in the eastern half of the United States. And, but for the western half, I expect the opposite, especially the Pacific Northwest, where um, the El Nino should play a pretty big role in, in um, making temperatures pretty warm and a lot drier and the conditions a lot drier than normal. So you're going to see less snowstorms, less snow cover, um, less days of, and less days of snow cover overall, um, especially in the Pacific Northwest this winter. Thanks to the fact that we're most likely going to, going to be in a positive phase. So this is another big factor we've been talking about over the past several videos is the temperature anomalies comparing the average temperatures for um, strong to moderate El Ninos to the long term average between 1991 and 2020 and we clearly see much of the southern United States experiences much cooler than average conditions as this map sort of is very similar to the snowfall anomaly map. I just showed you where the areas that are much colder than average are the areas that receive more snowfall than normal, at least a bigger departure from average when it comes to the below average um, category. So in areas like the Rocky Mountain Ranges and especially the Southeast, expect many more days of snow cover, not only due to enhanced snowfall associated with cooler temperatures, but there's gonna be a lot less melting um, that's gonna go on this winter in these areas since the temperatures will be 
colder than average and then for the northern United States the temperatures hover close to the average but I'll say that most likely the temperatures will be slightly above normal thanks to the fact that we're going to be in an El Nino and and based on the most recent El Nino's um, it seems like it's leaning a little bit more towards um, the Pacific Northwest and uh, Northern Midwest seeing w much warmer than average temperatures compared to the long term average and with less snowfall um, that's typically um, that's typically associated with an El Nino the temperatures should overall be warmer because if there's less snow cover that means less of um, that means less of that short wave radiation will be absorbed by the snow which means that um, the, the surface will heat up a lot faster since um, since a snowless surface heats up a lot faster than a surface that's full of snow so temperatures should be warmer and less snow cover and less days of snow cover overall for the northern United States but it's gonna be um, but it's gonna be a big departure from the southern and eastern United States where you should see much more days of snow cover this winter the drought conditions in the United States also play a role. We clearly see that just to the west of the Mississippi River Valley and extending into the Pacific Northwest and going into the Southeast as well. You, um, these areas are under severe drought conditions. And like I said in my previous videos, thanks to the fact that we're going to be in El Nino where we typically see a strong Pacific jet moving through. I expect storm systems to move through at a frequent enough pace for the drought to go away in the southeast, but for the Pacific Northwest and Northern Midwest, I only expect drought conditions to get worse, which means that you should see less than average um, snow um, days where you have snow on the ground compared to the southeast where you should see a little bit more um, um, days of snow cover on the surface. It still won't be a lot of days because you guys are still in the southeast where it's a little bit too warm for many snowstorms to occur and for the snowfall to stay on the surface without um, being melted, of course, by the warmer um, temperatures that are um, typically in the southeast, especially when we see, um, especially since we're in a drought at least for the early part of November. Um, but I still expect that you should see more days of snow cover this winter in the southeast. But for the Pacific Northwest and Northern Midwest, I expect the drought conditions to continue to get worse this winter. So here's my entire forecast regarding the amount of days you should see snow cover along the surface of the, um, each area of the United States this winter. So pretty much what I did to make this map is I took a look at the average amount of days where you um, see at least one inch of snow cover or more on the surface in each area of the United States. And based on the conditions we're going to see this winter, um, based on several factors like the El Nino pattern and a positive PNA pattern, I estimated the amount of snow cover days you should see based on the temperatures as well as the amount of snowstorms you should see this winter. So it's definitely different from the average amount of snow days you experience in each area. But first, let's go over the northern Midwest. So um, in areas like Minnesota, extending into northern um, North Dakota and Wisconsin and into the interior Northeast, you should expect 85 um, or more snow um, days where you have snow on the ground this winter, which is typical in a lot of these areas. It's very cold throughout the winter. So it's very difficult for the snowfall to melt in these areas, especially in the higher elevations. And um, since it's so far to the north, it's very difficult for a lot of rain to be able to move northward and melt a lot of the snow on the surface. And in areas in the northeast, um, this 85 day range is a little bit um, further southward than usual. Thanks to the fact that I expect a colder and snowier than average um, winter for the northeast while for the midwest um, the area is a little bit further northward than typical because typically this 85 degree range would extend into pretty much the majority of Montana that isn't the case this year thanks to the fact that I'm expecting a drier and warmer than average winter right over Montana and surrounding areas and then just to the south of that I expect 55 to 85 snow days this includes bigger cities like Michigan I mean, um, Detroit, um, Chicago, um, extending into Milwaukee as well. So still, that's plenty of days where you should see snow cover on the surface, as in a lot of these areas. It's also pretty typical, um, such as the Midwest. 
um, where you do see a, um, a lot of snowfall during any given winter, whether it's warmer or drier than av or warmer or colder than average. Um, so you should definitely be prepared for um, at least 55 days of snow cover on the surface. Just south of that, you should expect 40 to 55 days of snow cover this winter. This includes bigger cities like Boston, New York City, Philadelphia, and there's just a north of the of the Washington D.C. metro politan area. This includes um, um, this includes Indianapolis and extending into Des Moines as well. You should expect 40 to 55 days of snow cover this winter. And in a lot of these areas in the Northeast, like New York City and Philadelphia, this is more than um, what you typically see and what you typically see during um, the winter time frame when it comes to days of snow cover is anywhere between 20 to 28 days in New York City. I'm expecting a lot more this winter thanks to the fact that it's going to be snowier and colder than average for much of the Interstate 95 corridor based on what we typically see during El Nino pattern. So expect much more days of snow cover in those areas just south of that. Expect um, 28 to 40 days. This includes cities like St. Louis and Kansas City. Um, and this includes Salt Lake City as well. Um, just south of that, expect 20 to 28 days. This area is further southward than usual. Thanks to the fact that I expect the south to see more storm systems and overall more Arctic blasts that will move further southward to allow more snowfall to occur to enhance the amount of, of days where you have snow cover on the surface. Just south of that, I'm expecting 7 to 20 days. This includes bigger cities like Raleigh, North Carolina. This is just north of Atlanta or right over Atlanta. Um, this includes Little Rock and Oklahoma City. I expect anywhere between 7 to 20 days where you should see snow cover on the surface, which is more than what you typically see in a lot of these areas. And then just south of that, expect um, snow cover that hovers between between one day to around a week. Um, this includes Myrtle Beach, Birmingham, Alabama, Jackson, Mississippi, and this includes Dallas as well. Um, so at least, at the very least, you should expect around a week of snow cover this winter. Um, that's at least one inch or more in these areas. So this is my entire forecast for the United States. If you want even if you want an even more in-depth forecast regarding the amount of days you should have snow cover on the surface, just make sure to comment down below your specific area or location and I'll make sure to give you guys a more in detail forecast regarding the amount of days of snow cover you should see this winter based on several different factors um, that will determine how much colder and snowier than average this um, winter will be or how much less um, snowy it'll be in your area. So make sure to comment down below if you're interested. But that's it for now, guys. And I thank you guys for watching.